So these are not good for human consumption. Look all right to me. They don't make gates like they used to. Thank God. And <laughs> that'll do. Good morning, everyone. If you have not already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, ring little bell videos every Tuesday and Friday at half to the showroom, the Can-Am showroom that was, is now empty, which is great. I've been trying to get this empty for a while, which means the young stock, which are in the side shed, they are gonna finally come on some loose housing. I'm really looking forward to them going to loose housing. I think they were just a bit too small for what they were doing in there, and they were just standing everywhere. They weren't standing on the beds. Hopefully they should do a lot better, which I'm definitely looking forward to. And we're gonna get in this shed. This shed works really well. I don't know if you remembered it last year. We put a gate onto here, gates across there, eating section, and then we have a bedding section and when we need we just throw a bale of straw over that's the plan and how we muck it out i didn't actually do a video last year of how we mucked it out which i will this year 100 percent muck it out through there and then straight down the slats of the cows there you can see that the spuds have arrived these spuds are apparently are not grade ready so these are not good for human consumption look all right to me we won't be able to scrape these out for a bit because of the straw that's here but what we'll do we'll use this straw first some of the old bales and chuck them down there let them bed up good bed to start with you can see there's some silo here that was just silo top from where the silage was we just chucked it down there use it a bit of bedding very dry and the calves can just pick it if they want to eat it that's the plan anyway kawasaki will need moving to go get those feed barriers that we've got we'll put them in there hmm, that smells good you can also see we're getting through the silo a little bit i say a little bit but just started to munch through it this weekend you can see that i have opened up here so we've got selco arriving in seven days so what my plan is to do chop through this silo on this side then we can dump the selco there and then we can use that side and then we should be nice and flush that's my idea which you'll probably see or might see top there we've had to pick quite a lot off with the fork again what's happened there is crows have picked it quite a lot it's a black sheet the green sheet you'll see it's 10 times better under that i think the green sheet's great right okay first job is i need to move the kawasaki get some gates here and get this place prepped where is it's not in there where the hell did i put that key Key, found it. First time. Looking for pallet forks. So where pallet forks live, I know amongst all this rubbish but there is a half a plan to the system they normally live there we put them under there and that's where they live because then you can pick them up nice and easily but last person who used them was a ginger guy with moustache so don't know where they are currently they're there found them that'll do do you reckon someone's lost i reckon someone's lost hey man Bee man, we've got bees. We make our own honey for the farm shop. So it wasn't someone's lost, it's bees, but we've still got the electric fence up at the moment, which we won't do by tomorrow because everything will be in. Yes! Right, I should really crack on with this video because we're messing about a lot. I need to move straw. Now that, my friends, is a lot of straw. They've got silo in the corner there to nibble at. I tried to not put as much straw in there because they can eat at that. One of the bales is a little bit questionable, but that is a hell of a bedding. That is five and a half straw bales in there. We'll have to bed them up for a month. 
Absolutely. Right, let's go see these gates. I'm tired. Look at the sweat going on. It's not like me, is it? Working hard. It's not horrible. We've got lots of gates in the rubbish pile that everyone reminds me of. And the feed troughs that we used last year. Might have to put a bit of a bottom on that. Might be all right. Three feed troughs. The water trough is still there that we fill up. We just fill it up every day when we just turn the tap, fill that up. Gonna move these first. Let's go for two. like they used to. Thank God. Who decided to make a gate this heavy? I have to just push this that way. Go up! Anyone else have lots of red gates around the farm that are just it's heavy as stinks? It's good when they get a bit of rust on them, the bottom falls off. Let's wait. So when people talk about like the Manitou being old or like Kit being old, when we went to Ireland, I chatted to a guy and... Whoa. Put it down. Let's rearrange that. So what I was saying is we used to load up the old farm we had with a old Nash, is it an old Nash loader? Uh, I think the loader's still there with a shear grab that you couldn't grab too much because it would break in hydraulic pipes and it had no cab. So every time you loaded up, you had no cab and you got wet. And then we upgraded to an 885 load tractor, something like the one we've got now, but a little bit older. And now I've got the Manitou. So when I say the Manitou is great, the Manitou is so good compared to what we used to have. So it's such a step up. Whoop. There we go. Boom. Me and Des are gonna see if we give up the right gate. I think it's that Oh no, it's gonna snap off in the middle of the line. Uh, that's higher than I remember. Maybe, but all oh, right, one minute. Clean Take it off. off a bit with your knife. Yeah, clean the newness. Just, I think it's that gate now. Hold on, both. Then hang Let's on. have a look. Up. Hmm, that's interesting. Just wobble it, Des, if you can. Cool. Oh. Yep, yep, right. Oh, there we go. Got the bottom one on as well. Not yet. I will do in a minute. I'm sure it's this one. It's probably tap, does it? Do you know what I'm sure? What? This gate's heavy. Don't, don't strain yourself holding that end up, Tom. Oh, I'm not really doing much of this. Get hold of it, find out. Tap in straight. It's, it's alright at first until, you know, someone just starts messing about and taking the time. Yeah. Tom, just. Maybe it wasn't that gate. I think it is. Well, watch out if I'm right or wrong. I think it do might it, be the same thing. Do, do, do it, do it, do it, do it. It's not that gate. Are you sure? No, it's well off that, isn't it? Damn it! That's annoying. Definitely falls right, but I wasn't. Right gate this time. Right gate this time. Up. Oh. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, da -da -da. You need three hands now, Tom. There we go. Boom! Look at that! Isn't it amazing? Isn't it amazing? Everything works perfectly. Look at this gate hanging, it works. Don't know what the American accent was for, apologies for that. Heidi or myself, twice a week we'll go, oh, these cars need mucking out. Push them all down there, push that to there, and then I'll go, oh, Des, there you go. Slack. Pudding! Fits like a pocket with a glove in, it's all right. Fits like a shirt with a pocket in. Fits like a glove. Put the two together, doesn't make sense. Right, tie these gates to these troughs here, and there we go. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. We've smashed it. After we're done, we might give ourselves a pat on the back. We're doing so well. Hey. They don't make gates like they used to. Three four, three four. So what we've decided, this gate doesn't fit down there. I don't know if you can see it from that angle. No, Des is gonna grab it. What a good cameraman. So it doesn't fit that gate there. Because this gate is such a good gate, the bottom's good, it's not really been in muck. We're gonna put this gate back outside so it's not gonna sit in muck for the rest of the winter. And we use gates that are already a bit tired and um, let them sit because the bottoms of them go knackered anyway. Don't want to ruin a good gate for the sake of it when you've got that gate. Oh yeah, it's perfect for this job. You can go a little bit more. I'll do. You don't need to be tired, Tom. You're not the best at tired. What do you mean? I'm, I'm better than you at tired. Just saying to Des, this is like one of my favourite pens. Obviously, next to the side shed is uh, another favourite pen of mine because it's so easily bedded up. It's so easily clean the front and you can keep it nice and clean and tidy really easily. Uh, to feed it, 
it's pretty simple you've got just got to drive the Manitou backwards and just feed it down here so it's it's a really good pen and I I like it so it makes me excited for winter kind of excited to get the calves out of there into here into a good bed they'll love it that'll do look at that dead wonder one two three Standing together, you need to stand in straight. Believe me, I've done this wrong before. If it comes at an angle, it's a nightmare. You want to go for the middle, Dad? Do we feel like we're in the middle? Uh, one minute. Brand new, 30 years ago. Look at that. I can't wait in the comment section. Someone saying, Tom, you uh, should have thrown that in the bin. You trough that. Brand spanking you. The other ones will need repairing as we get on, but they're not too bad. They're not as bad as. This one where it had no bottom at all. That looks good, that. If just your warrior said to screw that, what do you reckon? No, that ain't gonna move. He thinks it'll fall out if we don't screw it in. No. Through the bottom when you lift it up. Yeah, but you'll empty it. Empty the trough every time you pick it up. How odd's that? He's not here, he's on breakfast, so I'm the decision maker today. And I decide it's not getting nailed in because you put nailed in, you're putting um, holes in rust. it and rust. You're encouraging rust. That's probably why that thing didn't last so long. Anywho, right, let's find some cows. So we're just prepping everywhere. You'll see that the Keenan is there blocking that place. The Manitou's blocking up there so they don't go past the feed bin. You see the grey feed bin, we don't want them to go up there. And um, these guys are little and they're really annoying to go places. Says, could you just bring that gate round at least? How excited are you? I'm very excited for this. We want all of these out to start with. We're just gonna put them in this zone. But there's 23 in here. So I don't know if you want to get some of them whilst we're doing. So there's 35 spaces there. We don't want to put 35 in. There's 23 in this group and then 30 will do. So we'll take seven of the biggest out of there. So these guys are going to get fed really well on some straw. About two bags of meal a day, morning and night. Third foot on loose housing. They're on cubicle beds and they just don't seem to lie on them that well. That's the problem. They don't want to lie on them. It's got raining at least. Yeah, but it's just miserable, isn't it? It's a miserable day. Now I'm going to get seven out of that group. How many is that? Two, four. Yeah, for now. It's quite old. It wants some condition on its back. Tom gets thrown up, starts raining. Luckily, Heidi, Des, and Dad are waiting for me. This is what happens being a YouTube farmer. Sometimes things take longer than it should do. And these guys, have been, and it's raining. It wasn't raining when we first started. So, Heidi, you know your position. I do. Dad, you know your position. You guys go in your position. Me and Des are going to push them up. Oh, there's one through already. Desmondo, could you hold the GoPro and I'll hold the drone? Hold together, Des. Go hold one away from the pack. Done. The calves are in the showroom. The showroom has been converted into a calf shed again. Really like this shed, like I was saying to Heidi and like saying to you guys before. It's a really good shed. Calves are well happy jumping about. These size calves are definitely better in this kind of environment. All we're gonna do now is get the cows who's with the bull and finally, they're gonna be inside, which is great. It's what we want. I've wanted them to be inside for about two weeks now, but like I said, we've just been getting rid of that silo. Got rid of that silo just for the weekend. Finished the last bit of the weekend, bang. Tuesday, they are back in here. Yeah, 
I think they're looking happy. They'll clean up in here, really easy to bed up. Just feed them some cake so they'll all be there, but we'll do a full video on it. Me and Heidi will do it, or Heidi and I, if we're both about the same time. Easy to do, feed them there. They all get distracted. Chuck a bale of straw, straw off there, put it in here, bed them up, jobs are good in. When we get rid of all this straw and the spuds, tasty spuds, all you're gonna do is scrape it down to there, scrape it down the slats, and it's well easy, keeps it nice and clean. This is nearly a perfect pen. Nearly perfect pen, but nothing's perfect. And the new trough works perfectly. Our new fresh beans desk trough done. There's an eye. There's an eye. Yeah. One day I'll learn. Nobody's perfect. Well, Nobody's perfect. We probably should have done this trough. Yeah, there's a couple of other troughs, but seeing they're about well, they're well aged, yeah. they've done the work, and they'll do some more. They'll do some more. These are still hard. It's just the bottom. Look at that. Brand new. All we need to do is do that little bit, clean that drop out, don't want some metal in there, uh, put that gate there, and then jobs are good. Guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you like seeing calves in a brand new pen. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Livestock are in, besides the Highlands. Hide the Highlands, and they ain't gonna come in. Guys, thank you very much. See you in a bit. Bye.